Hi, this is Gino from Gino's Trattoria. On uh, this edition of Cooking with Gino, we have chicken rollatini here. Uh, it's a really popular dish. It's a dish out of my cookbook. Got the recipe in the cookbook. I'm going to do a quick demonstration for you today. I think it's important that you see how I bang the chicken out, how I flatten the chicken out nicely, how I roll it up, how the chicken stays all together. I'd like to show you what we use inside our stuffing. I think it's really important that you use nice fresh stuffing. What's great about chicken rollatini is you can make them a day or two ahead, put them in the refrigerator, and then when you need them, you can pop them out and you can saute them and finish them off in the oven. Let me show you what I got here. Uh, I have a cup of ricotta. A little bit of spinach here. I have about a tablespoon, half to two tablespoons of chopped sun-dried tomatoes. These add a little salt and a little flavor to it. I have a, about a tablespoon here of diced ham. Uh, if you like to use prosciutto, you can use prosciutto. I'm making this recipe a little bit smaller than what I have in the cookbook, but I'm only going to make one rollatini. I'm going to put a nice tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put a little bit of cracked black pepper in there. Now what I like to do is I like to undersalt everything, so I'm just going to put a touch of salt in here. And if I need more, I can always add a little bit more. And the recipe calls for about a quarter cup of cheese, so I'm going to use, this is probably about two tablespoons of cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Now the mozzarella cheese is really important in this recipe because the mozzarella cheese binds everything together. So when you're mixing it up, you'll see how nice and stiff it gets. You want to have a nice, stiff, thick, And you can see how, how you know it's getting hard. I like to get a little bit harder. So I'm gonna put a touch more mozzarella. So like I said, it'll bind it really nicely. And when you have it in, that mozzarella makes it not ooze out. If you don't have enough mozzarella, the ricotta cheese is gonna ooze out and it's gonna be messy. The mozzarella will, will help bind it. And as like I said, when I like to cook, I like to have colors here. So as you can see, there's a nice contrast between the green, you have the pink, and you have the red sun-dried tomatoes. Um, this mixture, I think, would probably make enough for between two and three rollatinis. Let me leave this here. This is mixed pretty nicely. What I do here is I like to taste it before it goes in. And this is really good. This needs nothing. It's got plenty of spices to it. Nice little kick to it. What I got here now is chicken breast. What I'm going to do with this chicken breast is I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut it here. Just a nice little sliver here. You'll see why I do that. Put the knife right here. I'm going to turn it over. I have a piece of plastic wrap here so you guys at home don't make a mess. At the restaurant, if the chicken's flying around, not the end of the world. I clean it up after. But here, you use plastic wrap. What you want to do when you bang it, you want to bang it nice and softly and push it. Not straight down. You want to push it away from you. And you want to try to flatten it out evenly. So if you have a piece that's really thin and a piece that's thicker, this is going to burn and that's not going to get cooked. So your goal, your goal here is to try to flatten it out evenly. And as you can see I'm doing, I'm not really banging straight down, I'm pushing. This might take a little while. This, this needed a little bit of practice, but I mean, anybody can do it. Just keep on banging it. And if you want, you can take the paper out, flip the chicken over. You want to try to get thin as possible. So when you roll it up, it'll be rolled up nicely and it won't take you forever to cook it. I'm going to turn it over just to see if I can smooth it out a little bit. Almost. I'm going to flip it over just once again. Uh, starting to break. So this little piece, I'm going to take it out. Time being, put this paper over again. Okay, got the chicken here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this mixture, put the mixture in between the chicken. I don't want to overstuff it because if you overstuff it when it cooks, it might break and it might lose out. So, what I do here is I grab both ends. Now it's pinched there, and I'm going to grab the chicken and just roll it and make a nice little pocket shape. So as you see here, it's all covered, all done. 
and it'll go right to the flour. Now if you want with the flour, you can just flour coat it. If you don't want any breadcrumbs, you can just flour coat it. What we do at the restaurant is we egg it and we put breadcrumbs on it and we deep fry it. We fry it and then we finish it off in the oven. I'm going to put my eggs here. Real quick, flip it over. Okay, shake off the excess egg yolk. I'm gonna get that oil nice and hot. Not too hot though. Finally got the breadcrumbs. Now you can go gently with the breadcrumbs. Just a nice little toss with the breadcrumbs. Try not to press down too hard on it because you don't want it to uh, break the chicken. And as you can see, nice little piece you got here. Now what I'm going to do, I have a little extra virgin olive oil in here. I'm going to saute it really quick and easy. Throw it in here. Oil has got to be really hot. When you saute anything, you want hot oil. If this oil isn't hot, oil is cold, you're going to throw your food in there and it's just going to sit there and it's going to soak up the oil. And it's not going to saute properly or fry properly. Now your goal here is just to brown it nicely here. Just keep an eye on it. We'll let it cook for another 10 seconds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the finished product that I have in the oven. As you can see, this is the finished product here. Nice and done. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Let me just finish flipping this over. Now when you have this chicken rollatini here, what I would do is I would take this out and I'll show you what I would do with this. Let me get another cutting board here. Just keep an eye on it. You want to get it nice and golden. Now obviously, um, my hands would be washed with this. I just touched chicken. I would clean this whole surface with either a bleach solution. Hands would be washed, but just to show you how this looks, I'm gonna pull this out here for you, I'm gonna cut it for you. And this is nice, you can, you can serve this whole, or what we do at the restaurant, we serve whole, but what you can do at the restaurant, you can just cut it in little portions. Let me flip this over again. And what you can do is you can slice this on the bias. Now this obviously has to cook a little bit longer. But I just wanted to show you how this would look. If you cook a little bit longer, you would get the finished product to be a little bit more firm inside. But as you can see, if it's cooked and it's cut, you can serve it just like that. It would go perfect. Now we have the rollatini here cooking. What I would do right now is I would put this in the oven. I think this is perfectly uh, fried. I wouldn't want to fry it anymore because it's going to cook in the oven for like another 10 minutes. If you overcooked it, what you can do is you can put a piece of aluminum foil on top. Over here, this pan, you dump this oil out and in this pan, you deglaze this pan, put some white wine in there and you make your sauce in here. Um, we traditionally like to put little sauteed onions, a little bit of garlic. We make it with the brown sauce, with the demi-glace. We throw a little sun-dried tomatoes for the color. And if you want, you can even add a little bit of spinach in there and uh, finish it off. Once it's done, top the rollatini off with the sauce, and we're done. Let me put this in the oven. This should take, I would say, approximately 10 to 12 minutes to cook at a 450-degree oven. Now, I'll give you a little, little secret. Once this is cooking, if you're not sure it's ready, what you can do is you can cut a little slice and open it up. Just be careful because you don't want to cut too much because if you cut it too much, it'll ooze out. But like I said, you can either stick a thermometer in there. It should read 150 degrees, but I think safely this should be in the oven for a good 10 to 12 minutes at least. Stick it in. And there you have it. Chicken Rolatini and Gino's Shredderia. Thanks.